Today I'll show you the easiest way of using Elementor Pro to create a contact form that viewers can fill up, click on the submit button and you will receive a response like this in email as well as in your dashboard like this. It is super simple and we'll use drag and drop to create the form. Before we start creating our form, we should make sure that our contact form doesn't get stuck behind loading screens like this. And the best way to fix it is to install a free speed plugin called Airlift. So, I will go to this website. I'll put my website URL here. Click continue. And then, Airlift does everything that your site needs for a 90 plus score. Like caching, image optimization, a good CDN, lazy loading and everything else. That's why. You don't need to use multiple plugins for performance anymore. Just Airlift is enough. This is not the end. There are many other cool features as well. And that's why most people get a 90 plus score in the first go. And in the rare occurrence that you don't, you just need to ping the support here and they will take care of it. Now, let's move on to the next step. I'll go to my WordPress dashboard. On the left, go to pages, add new page. And here, I will click edit with Elementor. I want my contact page here, so on the left, I'll look for forms. Here it is. Simply drag and drop to the page like this. Now to make it look better, I'll go here and click on this option to edit the container. Under layout, I'll set the width to somewhere around this and the minimum height to this so that our form looks compact. The next step is to add fields to this form. As you can see, I've already got the name field here, but I want to add a middle name and last name as well. So, to add fields to a form, click here. Under content, I'll simply click here to duplicate the fill like this. Next, I'll set the type to text and then change the label name like this. I'll do the same thing here as well. I'll also toggle this required option so that it becomes compulsory to fill the field. Now, using the same steps, I will create a middle name last name and other important fields like phone number and address field in this form. And once it's done, it should look something like this. Now for the next section, I want to know how users want to be contacted. So to put down a list of contact methods, I will use a feature called radio. So on the left, click on add item and set the type to radio. Let's quickly add a label name here. And in this box, I will write down all the choices that I want to give to my users. So let's do that quickly like this. If you want your options to be in horizontal line, simply toggle inline list and it will look something like this. For the next part, I want to know what my users are into. For example, their interest. And for that, I will use the checkbox feature. So I'll add another item from here and set the type to checkbox. Now I'll add the label name in this box and quickly add all the choices in this box one by one like this. As this is a contact form and to know what my users are struggling with on the website, it's always a better idea to allow them to upload screenshots of the issues they are facing. And to do that, I'll click here to add another item and change the type to file upload. Let's give it a label name like this and toggle this required button. Here, you can set the maximum file size limit of the files that they can upload. I'll choose this for now. Next, I will add a field that asks user to accept or agree to certain terms before submitting the form. For this, let's add another item and in the type option, I'll select acceptance. In this box, I'll quickly add my terms and conditions like this. Obviously, we have to make it a required field. So let's toggle this switch. And here you can also select check by default, which is used to pre-select an option in the checkbox. I think I have added all the necessary fields so let's move on to the next step that is to design and customize our form. Below the forms option, click on button and here I can change alignment, size, etc. In the step buttons, we have next and previous which appears when we add multiple steps in our form. Till now, we only have a submit button so let's customize that. If you want to add an icon besides the text, click here. In this pop-up, I can select my icon and then click on insert. Now let's change the icon spacing from here like this and from here I'll change its position like this. Next I want to apply some colors to my buttons and for that let's go to style and change the color from here. I'll also change the color of the button if someone hovers over it. So I'll simply go here and select the color from here. Awesome. Now to display a confirmation message after someone submits the form, I'll go to content, 
and select additional options from here. Just enable the custom messages and write down whatever message you want to show. Now to add a background and change colors of the form, you can simply go to style or advanced tab and quickly modify the settings according to your needs. I'll do mine and make it look like this. Looks pretty, right? To configure submissions, I'll go to actions after submit and under actions, click this plus icon where you can add an email where you want to receive the submissions. Currently we have the email to option. So let's click it and add an email address quickly like this. In the subject, I'll add this. In the message box, I'll write first name and then go here, click advanced, copy this short code, come back and paste it here like this. The last step is to configure submissions like how to check it and where to store it. So I'll go to the edit form, select content and click on collect submissions. Next, click on this link here which will direct us to the WordPress dashboard. And here, we can see the list of submissions of this form. I'll see the submissions by clicking view. Now, if you want to create a sheet out of all the responses, then on the WordPress dashboard, select the submissions you need and then click on export all to CSV. And you're done. Subscribe if you found this helpful. In this three minute video, I'll show you a free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this, so click here and I'll see you there.